Welcome to Linus Tech Tips at CES 2013. Our trip to the show this year is powered by Corsair, maker of quality PC components and peripherals. Our trusted storage partner is Seagate Technology, and our trusted networking partner is Linksys. Here in the MSI suite, we've got what was I thought was a pretty cool little demo. You have a bit of a history of the MSI Twin Frozer series cooler. So this is the Twin Frozer. It looks like a dog. Quite frankly, sorry man. <laughs> Twin Frozer 2 added looks, it added more dense fins, and it, well, performed a little better. Okay. Twin Frozer 3 adds propeller blades. So here we're actually improving the performance of the cooler over the previous generation products, in addition to, again, looking better. And Twin Frozer 4, Alex from MSI is joining us. Why don't you tell us what you guys added with Twin Frozer 4, which is the current generation Twin Frozer. Twin Frozer 4, actually a slightly different design on the shroud a little bit more aggressive, but the biggest change was we added a the dust removal technology, which is allows the fans to spin backwards on system startup. And the biggest thing is is that every generation of Twin Frozer, we keep adding something to the design of the graphics card to improve. And in reality, if you're buying a Twin Frozer series graphics cards, uh, you're not paying for anything extra, like a special technology or whatever. We just keep adding something to it from our previous generation. Okay, so tell us about this system over here. So this features MSI technology inside it. This is an ITX gaming machine. What the heck is this thing? Uh, this is actually done by one of our partners, uh, iBuyPower. This is the Revolt chassis. It's a mini ITX uh, based system, very small, as you can see, very compact. The system is standing upright, but you can also set it, uh, you can set it on its side. And it's uh, got a full-size GTX 680 graphics card inside of it, um, along with a custom um, You can PCIe actually see that right board. there. Yeah, you can actually see it. It uses a uh, PCIe bridge to have the graphics card mounted on the side. That's very, very cool. So I want to give you an angle of the back of it here, sort of. So you can see that the motherboard and the graphics card are mounted in sort of a, are sort of a strange way. So they've designed this chassis to be used with a bridge, and it, you pretty much can't install a graphics card in it without that then, I suppose. Yes. Very cool. Okay, and what's that other system you've got over there past the MSI mechanical keyboards? Oh, the MSI mechanical keyboards, but this is the um, uh, Cooler Master half XP uh, case, more meant for like, you know, open bench kind of uh, testing. But the inside we have our Z77 Empower motherboard, as well as a GTX 680 Lightning graphics card, and also the uh, Vexier Empower Edition memory kit and uh, of interest is that all these three components match color-wise. They're all black heat sink with uh, yellow accents and um, very clean system setup. I mean, this is if you're building a, a Empower based Z77 Empower based uh, system, this is how you would want to set it up. Yeah, this looks this looks gorgeous. Actually, I'm gonna tweet that right now. <laughs> so next, we're gonna do the MSI system section of their booth. Now, I did make a slight mistake. Uh, we're not going to see systems just yet. We're going to wrap up with a few motherboards on the component side, then we'll move over to systems. It's going to be a separate video. So what do you guys got here? We've got a Z77 ITX. We've got a value Z77 board that has Thunderbolt on board. And tell us about this guy right here in the middle. This is actually a Z77, not a Z77. This is actually an X79, sorry. Uh, gaming motherboard. This is going to be the X79A GD45 Gaming. The name actually might not be gaming when it's uh, announced, uh, but for the time being, it's it's being called gaming. It's a refresh of the X79 platform in advance of a, a new processor that's coming out towards the middle of this year, 2013. And Not that you is, can give us any details on that, right? No, not that I can give you any details, but you can use your imagination as to what the next version of the code name for uh, Socket 2011 CPU is concerned. But it is a new color scheme, and it is going to be one of several refresh boards that we will have for the X79 chipset. Okay, so guys, don't forget, don't miss any of our coverage of CES 2013, and as always, don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips. Thanks for watching Linus Tech Tips at CES 2013, powered by Corsair, Seagate Technology, and Linksys.